All right, so today we're gonna to look at swapping out the pump key on your glycol chiller pump. Um, a common uh, symptom of a failed pump key is your glycol chiller, chiller will read that the temperature is at 28 degrees, you know, 30 degrees, uh, but your dispenser itself and the beer is not coming out cold. So this will be the uh, quick and easy fix to make this happen. So your pump key looks like this, and that'll actually go inside this mechanism here, and that essentially connects uh, this part here to the pump itself, and will send the liquid through. So to check the state of your pump key, all you gotta do is just take a Phillips head screwdriver, and you will unscrew these two bolts here. Once you get both of the screws undone, that just pops right off. So you can pull those away for now. So taking a look at this old key, you can see it's really worn down. It's just all rotted out and grimy. And so compare that to what a new one looks like. And so oftentimes this part will be all grimed out, uh, so it's good to take a rag and just give that a quick dusting, same with the inside here. So all you're going to do is place, slot it in onto there, and you're going to want to match up the key with that groove right there. It's also important to note that this piece fits specifically uh, on each end of the key. So this, you see how it's flat on one end and notched on the other. So the notched end goes into the pump itself and that fits on there. Uh, when you put the new key into the slotted end, uh, it shouldn't be very difficult to just kind of turn uh, the key to get it to fit onto the pump. Uh, you know, there might be a little bit of a tension, but it shouldn't be seized up at all. All right, so once you've got your clamps back on, uh, you should be good to go. Just fire up the chiller, fire on the pump, and you should hear everything turn on, and you should be able to see and feel liquid flowing through your trunk line and dispenser, and everything will be, get down to temp. 